Hello, and on behalf of the JBL MIS crew, thank you for looking at our YouTube channel. There have been some changes to our MIS contact and email functions, so we wanted to give you a quick how-to video on this function. Before I mention some of the changes, let's discuss the basic functionality. First, the contact and email file controls outgoing emails and faxes associated with either a customer or a vendor. If you use our Active Communicate Mass email function, it also automatically instructs the system who gets mass emails associated with statements and invoices. Let's click on the Contact Email Controls button and access this function. At the bottom of the screen, you will see an Options button. When we click the Options button, the system allows you to control which entry fields to request. For example, if you do not want the system to ask for a customer or vendor department when setting up a new contact, then uncheck the checkbox. If you would like the customer department field to default to the word accounting, for example, then enter accounting. Next, you can have the system default the recommended documents. Most users do not set defaults for these since your customer's buyers may get a copy of an order confirmation, for example, but that same person may not get a copy of an invoice or a statement. It is important to note that you can have multiple contacts for the same customer and have multiple contacts within the same company that gets the same information emailed to them. For example, the branch manager for one of your customers may get a copy of an invoice but the accounting manager at the main office also will get a copy of the same invoice. The system also allows you to control what will be displayed when the email contact lookup grid is chosen. It is important to note that your MIS system is not storing secure credit card information and is only used with JBL approved credit card processors. The sort display options associated with your personal email contact address book or a company wide address book are available. If you would like to maximize the contact lookup screen when it is used, you can control this by checking the maximize box. Now that we have looked at the defaults and options, let's enter a new email contact. If you are using our AccuCommunicate function, and this contact is to receive mass invoices and statements, click the Mass Email Fax checkbox. This instructs the system that this contact will receive invoices and statements when they are run in mass. Next, enter the name associated with this email address or fax number. Next, tell the system that you would like to associate this with either a customer or a vendor. The Recommend For feature allows you to instruct the system to automatically recommend this contact when emailing or faxing quotes, orders, invoices, purchase orders, if this is related to a vendor, statement receipt of payment, sales order acknowledgments, along with sales order confirmations. Next, you could tell the system that this contact is associated with your personal address book or should be added to your company's address book. When you look up an email address, you have the option to only display your contacts or all contacts for the entire company. If you are using an approved MIS credit card processor, you are given the option to get a credit card token for this contact. Credit card tokens and credit card processing for order entry and payment receipts are covered in other videos. When complete, simply click the Add button and your contact will be added to the address book you've chosen. There have been some recent changes to this function, so it is likely you will need an update in order to use the features covered in this video. If you have any questions, please call our support center at 800-624-6827. Thanks for watching, and we hope you have a great day.